got your sniffers ready. Because today on Roy's Report, I sat down with San Sin, our favorite guardian dragon of the Smile of Gold. So let's dive in and find out what makes this mother, teacher, and VTuber tick. Hi, San! Everybody, welcome San to the stream! Hey, let's get some claps! There we go. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. For people that are maybe unfamiliar with you, could you maybe like give us a little bit of a breakdown of the types of stuff that you do? This is probably going to sound really bad. <laughs> give us your worst. Hi, I'm just a chill person playing whatever the hell I want on stream, just chatting with other adults and hanging out. And that's essentially the entire that encompasses everything I do. You know, we played some games, you know, off stream together. We both <laughs> share in a little bit of an interest of a little game called League of Lagoons. Leg. You are a a shapeshifter, but also a dragon. Can you kind of explain some of that? And maybe some of like the model details you got going on with like the dragon aesthetic? Oh my gosh. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved mutants, X-Men mutants, like the OG. I've read the comics and yeah. everything. If I had any power, I wanted to be a shapeshifter, like, you know, and it was like really mystique. cool to me. Yes. Like, I just always liked that. They were the, the outcasts. It was like my favorite thing. And how do I do it and make it me? I wanted to really honor my Korean culture. Oh. You know, we have the Asian dragons and we're just silly noodles with no wings. <laughs> You're relatively new to the VTubing scene. You debuted back in, was it March, April? April 1st. Are you new to the content creation sphere? Yes, I'm not new hey! to, my friends brutally bully me. They make fun of me because the year before I like made affiliate on Twitch and I was like a face streamer. I didn't enjoy the interactions I was having. The stressful part of any of this though is knowing what to do as a content creator, as a VTuber now, diving more into your streaming life. I know you do play a lot of games and do a lot of different content. Huge list of variety. I've seen you play The Walking Dead. I've seen you play WoW. I've seen you play TFT. I've seen you do art. I've seen you do ASMR. Is there one of these listed that you would say describes you super well? Like one thing that you could pick? For the amount played, I would say World of Warcraft is, is a strong game. We all know, San, you're a busy bean. You're a busy guardian dragon shapeshifter in the sense that you're not only doing this VTubing stuff and you're doing a lot of it, but you're also a teacher. I know. How dare I? <laughs> I mean, like, I have a full-time job as well outside of VTubing. But, like, being a yeah. teacher, I can't even begin to imagine. But not only a teacher, but a mother. Yes. On top of that. Mm -mm -mm. Do you feel like being a teacher makes you a better content creator? I imagine that there's like a lot of spillover with keeping people's attention and working with them in a way that makes them feel heard. I don't necessarily think teaching makes me a better content creator, but I do feel like my experiences help provide me with stories that I'm able to tell. I just land with really great stories that are heartwarming to me. And I always think like, I wish I could go home and tell this to somebody my whole family works so it's not like i can go to their house and hang out tell them all the funny stuff that happens and so this has just been kind of like my outlet to share that part of my life with the other side of things is being a teacher isn't your only other job can you talk about lb a little bit what does that mean again is it, is it little boss little bird <laughs> it's little bird little yeah bird. that's the nickname so she is like the in my lore story she is a um kind of orphaned little harpy child sure. in our universe i hear her and i like i save her from bandits but ultimately i leave her alone in the woods with these fairies that had been taking care of her when i get into trouble with these soldiers that are pillaging the village that i live near and sell all my goods to in guise of an old lady. I like go to protect them because that's my job. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Hero LB. <laughs> Absolutely. But chat calls her. <laughs> Chat calls her little boss because she likes to come in and boss them around and boss me around sometimes. That's what I stream. thought it was. Let's like I'll look back at the content that you've created, especially the VTubing aspect of your career, especially when you started. Uh, I remember there being like a lot of people, myself included, being especially impressed and surprised by and just over the moon for the expressiveness that your model has yeah. and the rigging and the smiles and the eyes and the mouth shapes and everything like that. When you got into VTubing, was there like a big research process that kind of led you to the rigor? that you use. I knew what I wanted. And so like, this was ultimately the kind of model I wanted. I knew I wanted it to be like 2D. Sure. And when I was researched, I spent a year watching, like getting to know people in the space, hanging out and just genuinely being a part of the communities that I enjoyed and uh, or people that made me laugh or people that made me happy. Or... But no, I'm really glad that everything like that worked out. It is funny that it kind of seems like it was kismet combined with a lot right. of research and effort that mm -hmm. went into it beforehand. No, that's fantastic. I did actually notice something that I, I just want to ask about. I don't think I've ever heard anything about it. So sure. I see on your on your design, on your sleeve, uh, it's 
says plant dad or plant plant dad <laughs> plant dad yeah plant yeah. dad plant dad so plant dad. could you could you maybe give a little bit of insight about what what that is or what that means yeah so i'm very much a huge i have a, a billion house plants ah. um, or at least i used to it, it stemmed from i hate when i i have to do this but it's like this is the origin i i took care of my dad and he was in hospice from cancer but afterwards the way i was healing from it was the front room of our house that he had passed in they brought in all the flowers from the service and all i could do was to keep everything in there alive after that i was like <laughs> that was my hyper fixation i have a journal with plants and soil mixtures and water mixtures and stuff for all the different types of species and sketches and but it says plant dad because you know everybody's like mommy sorry mommy sorry uh, and the times when people come into chats and it happens with vtubers all the time and it's mm -hmm. the ha bottom and yeah. that's always one of my favorite things to do and i'm like yeah yeah i am but okay what now where's the where's the joke we ain't got time for this so there's one other thing that i noticed with you as a as a person as a creator but you're a very mm -hmm. soft spoken person yeah and i i believe you tag yourself as that on on twitch as well right right have you always been soft spoken was it something that maybe you started doing when you got into streaming and content creation like is there a story or a reason behind it i'm just curious you know i've always been this way sure. i've always had a very i guess like a low decibel type voice to where it's always been funny to me because through my life people have said it's so weird how you are kidding me. Oh. I, it's weird to be complimented on the softness of your voice. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So everyone just always called me soft spoken. And so I was like, all right, we're rolling with it. And that's why it's a <laughs> it's, it's the whole like you're taking something that people were saying to you right. and using it to empower yeah. yourself. Very smart, very adult of you, I guess is a good way of putting it too. <laughs> the other thing that kind of stems from that is that where you started getting into ASMR once you started doing VTubing. I've seen a couple of the ASMR streams. I think I've rated you while you were doing ASMR, <laughs> but I, I don't see it happen super often. Is it? Can you give us a little breakdown about like why ASMR, what you do with ASMR? Give us the whole ASMR scoop. Give us the goods. Give us the hot and dust. I wanted like a lot of my chat, everyone that comes into my YouTube, it's like, are you going to do ASMR? Like they're very interested. Yeah. And it's not like in the weird way that some, you know, people want you to do ASMR. They're like, could you do like a countdown meditation or could you do this? And I was like, well, actually, I want to do that. I like being able to help people find peace. It honestly just became like a goofy meme for stream where I had ASMR and I have like the double eared mic and everything. But yeah. It was just me being dumb and chat being dumb. So we would be like, oh, it's ASMR Donald Duck time, guys. And so I would just be talk like Donald Duck. Wait, wait, I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. Give me the Donald Duck. <laughs> God. So I would just be like, and like into the thing. I love that. Oh boy, it's like Donald Duck is right here. And then I would be Stitch because probably Lilo and Stitch. Oh yeah, hit, hit us, just, hit us, yeah. Oh God. That's amazing. That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, voice actress son over here. All right. All right. I see you. I see you cooking with some gas here. Chad was like, can you do this voice? Can you do that? Can yeah. we do this? Can we do that? And it just became really goofy. And so sometimes I would do normal things like reading poetry or singing heartbeats and stuff. And then other times it was fucking like Donald <laughs> Stitch and me being dumb as heck, but just softly. <laughs> and I am not a hype person by nature. That's what a <laughs> bounce off the walls and be loud and create shock content or react so you and like Papa Mutt together. abruptly it. it's so <laughs> funny to be a bit with Papa Mutt because he is such a oh he's such a gem I love him I love him so much but it's just great like going to his stream and then coming to my stream is like very different oh, yeah. but at the same time, it's like your good energy doesn't repel each other. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, just. You guys are opposites in that sense. It's always nice to have people that do things differently. Yeah, you know, like mm -hmm. I go to your streams expecting you. I go to Papa Mutt's streams expecting him. I feel like it's so important that there are people for people like me who really just want to chill sometimes, want something on while they're working on life. I was like, this is the space that I'm being called to fill. And so I want to do that. That's a great thing to do and we love to see it. Isn't that right, audience? Yes. Yes. Do you have any big content plans that you maybe haven't really talked too much about? I know I jokingly said, you know, the, the voice acting stuff, but like, could you see yourself ever doing things like voice acting projects or more ASMR or singing? Do you have anything big like that kind of that you're 
I've kept a lot of things under wraps, sure. but, and I'm not going to give it all away here. Since the beginning, I've always kind of wanted to do like a very podcast feel for Ooh. my stream. Okay. And yeah. And recently, this is literally an idea that hit me last night, Roy. I was driving home okay. and I called Pineapple, my assistant, and I said, hey, I need you to, to write this down. So I'm having an idea. And I was driving because all of my calls like for business and things are always while I'm driving because that's the only time always. I have to be on the phone. I was like, I had an idea because we have a lot of friends who do music. Am I musically inclined? My chat would say yes. Oh. I disagree. Something I haven't really seen a lot of. And I was like, what if I did a stream some nights that I am showing off the talented people in our community and I'm listening just to songs that were made by our community. All right, you cool cats. Now we're exactly yeah. Yeah. yes, that's I get the you. vibe. Guys, don't forget to check out Son over on their streams at Sun Sin or check the title. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. I hope you all have a great rest of your night and uh good night!